What's going on Aurora Alliance and welcome back to a brand new Star Wars Battlefront 2 speculation video. In today's video we're going to be talking about a battle royale mode which could come into Star Wars Battlefront 2 because of the insanely successful player unknown battlegrounds and Fortnite which now has a battle royale mode for free. But before we get fully into this video, let me know down in the comment section below if you would like to see a battle royale mode in Star Wars Battlefront 2, and if you would, how would you like it to work? Who would you like to play as, and what maps would you like to see? Would you like to see Tatooine, Hoth, Endor, anything like that? If you're also new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to join the Aurora Alliance, be kept up to date with Battlefront 2 content, and see exclusive gameplay videos in the future. But for now, let's get into talking about a battle royale mode for Star Wars Battlefront 2. So a lot of people do actually want to see a battle royale mode in Battlefront 2 due to the success of Player Unknown's Battlegrounds and Fortnite's battle royale mode which is free on console and PC. People do really think that it will be a cool feature or mode in Battlefront 2 and I must say I agree with them. I do really enjoy playing battle royale on PUBG and Fortnite so I would love to see it in my favourite game, Battlefront 2. It would be something that is very different to arrive in a Battlefront game from what we have seen already with Battlefront 1. We have only ever seen new maps, team based modes with objectives, hero skins, heroes, weapons and star cards and even hut contracts come to Battlefront games through DLCs. We haven't seen anything completely brand new, adding like a brand new sort of game in itself into Battlefront, so it will be a first if it does happen. A lot of titles will try to capitalise on the success of Battle Royale in PUBG and Fortnite because the demand is so high for this type of mode in games, but at the moment there are only two successful titles with the Battle Royale mode, PUBG and Fortnite. I do believe that Battlefront 2 will have the maps suitable for a Battle Royale game mode, DICE just may need to expand the map boundaries a little bit to accommodate such a high player count of up to 100 players in one game mode or one map. Moss Eisley, Yavin 4, The Death Star 2, Starkiller Base and Naboo Theed are just some of the examples of the maps that are going to be in Battlefront 2 that would make really cool battle royale maps in my opinion. And there is no knowing of how many other fantastic Star Wars locations will be brought into Battlefront 2 through DLC seasons which are going to be completely free if you haven't heard and we don't know which of these maps would be suitable for a battle royale mode, some of them won't be, some of them will be quite small to suit the strike game mode so they would have to be big maps, but they would have to be big maps to accommodate up to 100 players. In Battlefront 2 we also know that we're going to have 39 vehicles which could feature in a Star Wars battle royale mode like ATRTs, speeder bikes, ATSTs and even Tauntauns which would allow us to traverse the huge battle royale maps in Star Wars authentic vehicles or travel which would be really cool to see. There will also be more than enough weapons and star cards in the three Star Wars eras that could be in the battle royale maps for us to find and use. They could keep them era based or they could make them cross era purely for the battle royale mode meaning there will be a ton of equipment available for us to find and use in the map. As for customization of our characters like in PUBG, we already have loot crates which could be unlocked through gaining credits from the battle royale mode and these loot crates could be battle royale specific so that we have no mix up between unlocking star cards in the battle royale crates and things like that. If you want to unlock battle royale items then you purchase the battle royale crates which makes sense. We could already have the basics or the foundations needed for a battle royale mode in Battlefront 2, we just need Disney and EA to agree that it would be a good mode for the game and let the developers at DICE run wild with their epic ideas for Battlefront 2. PUBG is the most successful battle royale game out there at the moment and Fortnite is a very close second, but like I said at the moment PUBG has over 1.2 million players an hour with Fortnite having 10 million players in two weeks. By the way, if you do really like Fortnite Battle Royale, make sure to check out Seven for awesome Fortnite videos who will be in the description below. And he's also in my sub box on my channel homepage if you wanna go and check that out. PUBG is coming to console soon with Fortnite already available to play on console. However, Fortnite on console suffers from crazy lag 
and it is almost unplayable at times. So any games that jump on the Battle Royale bandwagon and pull it off successfully on console really will reap the rewards of a huge console player base which will increase sales of the game and the player base which is what games need to survive in today's market. If people don't play the game then the game does die out. We've seen that with Battlefront 1 after the season pass no one really played it and it was really hard to find games and it died off quite quickly. At the moment PUBG and Fortnite are only making use of one map for their battle royale modes but in Battlefront 2 there could be multiple maps as soon as the mode launches which could easily sustain up to 100 players. At the moment the biggest ground map is Theed on Naboo and sometimes it feels really empty with 40 players in there so DICE could easily allow more players to run around and expand Theed in the battle royale mode and it would still have the same open world type feel that Fortnite and PUBG have achieved with their maps for their battle royale. However, you wouldn't want the maps to be too big that starfighters have to be introduced to move around the map, you would want to keep the mode purely ground based, or you could end up with having a starfighter versus ground trooper in the final zone which would be a little bit too unfair to the ground trooper. But one important thing is what could be the blue barrier of death in Battlefront 2's Battle Royale mode if it was to come to the game. I think this should vary depending on what map you play on. For example, if there was a Hoth Battle Royale map, then a snowy blizzard could be the blue barrier of death. If you end up outside of the safe zone, and you end up in the blue zone or the snowy blizzard, you could start to freeze to death because of the blizzard. Then eventually it would kill you off and it would cause more damage as the rounds progress. If there was a Geonosis map for example, if that's going to be in Battlefront 2 at all, there could be a sandstorm which would have the same effect as the snowy blizzard. As the snowy blizzard. If you end up outside of the safe zone, the sandstorm slowly engulfs you in sand, etc etc. And this would add a unique Star Wars twist to the blue barrier we see in both Fortnite and PUBG, there is no difference between them. A lot of people might say that this is not a Star Wars authentic mode and complain about it, but in Battlefront 2, and as we know in Battlefront 2 all of the game modes have their own story which allow you to follow it while you progress through the game mode. In a battle royale mode there wouldn't really be a story so it wouldn't really fit with the theme of having a story in the game mode. But we have seen a sort of battle royale in the Clone Wars animated TV series. One is where Ahsoka is captured by Trandoshans and is taken to a planet where the Trandoshans hunt down prey for fun. They actually hunt down younglings in this episode so I'm not sure if that would work exactly, but we could take this kind of concept and say all of the players who are playing in the battle royale mode are captured Jedi who have to fight against each other to survive the battle royale, or Sith even who have to compete to become Darth Sidious's apprentice. The Jedi wouldn't really fight against each other in the Star Wars canon, I do know that but you know what I mean, I'm just using it as an example so you can understand. In the Clone Wars animated TV series as well, while Obi-Wan is undercover as a bounty hunter, we get to see a group of bounty hunters, including Obi-Wan Kenobi, undercover inside of a cube. Now the cube throws challenges at the bounty hunters to see who will survive and emerge victorious. Whoever emerges victorious gets to take part in a job, which could be adapted by DICE into a battle royale mode where we play as bounty hunters fighting against each other in a battle royale mode to survive and be selected for a special mission etc. And both of these ideas would fit into following a story through the game mode which fits in with DICE's theme in the multiplayer modes anyway. A final idea for the battle royale mode is that we could play as Mandalorians because as we all know Mandalorians like combat and like to fight each other to show off who is the most powerful and who is the most skilled in combat which could be adapted into a Battlefront 2 battle royale mode where we all start as Mandalorians and go into the mode fighting against each other to survive and win the battle royale so we can take charge of the Mandalorian army or, or have possession of the dark saber or something like that which would fit into the story within a game mode theme that DICE have gone for for Battlefront 2. I really want to see a battle royale mode in Star Wars Battlefront 2, I'm just not sure if it will happen. We all know that DICE could come up with amazing things for the game to prolong its life for up to 2 or 3 years with the free DLC seasons. We're just not sure at the moment what these DLC seasons are going to be, but I would love it if there was a battle royale DLC season where we got to play battle royale in a Star Wars theme. I know someone is working on a Star Wars mod for PUBG at the moment 
but I want to see an actual Star Wars Battle Royale mode in Battlefront 2. I think it would be really cool, and I hope it does happen in the future. Make sure to let me know down in the comments section below if you would like to see a Battle Royale mode in Battlefront 2, and if you do, make sure to let me know how you would want it to work and who you would want to play as. Make sure to smash a like on this video if you have enjoyed it, and if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to join the Aurora Alliance, be kept up to date with Battlefront 2 content, and see exclusive gameplay videos in the future. Other than that, may the Force be with you.